When your wife says, I'm gonna remodel the bathroom, know what she means. She means I'm gonna need you and a few friends to do free manual labor for like the next week and a half. This requires like real power tools with fire that melt metal. DIY is misleading. Brig and Jane here on another episode of Designer Reacts. Today we are tackling some bathrooms. Bathroom remodels scare me, especially when the video says DIY. Let's see how well they do it themselves. Today on Frugal It Out, I am tackling the bathroom. The bathroom that guests use and also my kids. The bathroom that guests use, but also my kids. Also worried for her. Okay, so she's also already working with a design bathroom to a certain extent. Like there's shelving here. You can tell she has a sense of style. When you say you're gonna do a $200 bathroom model, you're starting with a good first product. Lovely textured, creamy, yellowy. <sighs> Why did this stucco ever exist? This is on like every house. I don't know who thought it would be a great idea to just like make our walls look a little bit textured, but it kills me because it's a hard thing to replace. I think I'm gonna paint everything white. She's going all white. We already know I'm gonna love this. Let's do this. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's under these. So I'm nervous here. She's sanding down wood to give it a more natural textured tone. Five bucks says she paints these things. Just sand it off the grooves. She started to sand those cabinets down to give it a more natural look, which was never gonna work. So she just kept sanding and she's taken off the grooves. Paint, consider painting. Wood, you're never gonna be able to change into a different wood to make it look more woodsy. A nice little pop of gray would have been all she needed. And now we're looking at a gray paint sample. So now she's gonna have one that doesn't match the other ones because she's sanded down all of the detailing in the wood. You only had $200, paint. Ding, 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 we have a winner. And she went with the gray. This just fell on my toe, look. Now she's hurt herself. Piece of my nail polish. By the way, this is about the time when people call me. They thought they had a good idea. They have started painting it. They were really into it, but now they've hurt their toe and she's like over-dramatizing her little pink toenail. This frame around the mirror, it works, but I'm telling you, it would have been so much easier for her and a little bit cleaner to keep it on the wall with molding. Love her faucet choice. Okay. All right, for $200, she did a pretty good job, but she made some mistakes. One is that she put way too much time into this custom wall, and by the time she finished it, she should have just painted it so the texture is what stood out. She switched out the bath curtain. That's really what made the biggest change in this space. Overall, really good job, but I think she was working with a good start, and I would have liked to see this be strategic and quick and easy. I don't know if the effort in is worth the output on this one, but good job and great creativity. All right, well, that was not exactly a win, so we'll see what we have up next. DIY and bathroom renovation always scare me. Look at the cute puppy. Uh, we want to do a concrete countertop with... Concrete countertops and bathrooms are hard to do. Concrete soaks up moisture. Might look good, but it's going to be tough for her to upkeep. Uh, framing this mirror in or... Framing mirrors in is a trend right now I can get behind. I love the more mirror the better. It reflects light. It also just gives you better visibility. So go with big. This door will be gone. We'll be adding a sliding door on the outside. Okay, for a bathroom, this is again where you've got to think about purpose. A sliding door on the outside of a bathroom means no noise barrier. I hope this bathroom is inside their bedroom, but even then, you know, we want to keep you married. Put a regular door or a pocket door, but a pocket door is going to give you a better sound barrier than just like one of those cute farm doors that's on the outside. Let the renovation begin. When your wife says, I'm going to remodel the bathroom, know what she means. She means I'm going to need you and a few friends to do free manual labor for like the next week and a half. Why are you gonna throw a black cat in the middle of your makeover video? Like now I'm worried. Cute lighting fixture I see going in. We got texture and neutrals. Hubby now has a lamp on his head. Betty was looking forward to that. 
Penny rounds, y'all. I love a penny round. They make your floor non-directional, which really helps open up the whole space. She's doing them in a black, which I don't think I've seen. Black penny rounds, you need to put with a black route. And concrete is great for a lot of things. I'm just telling you, as a designer, I have done concrete. It is very, very hard to maintain. And you have to commit to the complete stained look of it all. I just hope they're not disappointed. Okay, she's hired. I'm gonna hire her. She's good. Okay, this bathroom is a win for me. Great use of neutral color palette. She went black and white, but made it classy. She added some texture with that lighting. She's got just the right amount of accessories. The concrete countertops look great. I hope she's not disappointed in the wear and tear of them. They look great now, but they're just gonna soak up some of that moisture and probably the oil in your products. But if you're okay with that, this is a win. If you want a job, just call us. We could use some of your talent over here on the Breg and Jane team. Until then, definitely keep doing these. Today we're going to be bringing you a really exciting DIY for the most horrendous farmhouse bathroom makeover that we have ever done. She's already using the word horrendous and we haven't seen it yet. Just so you know, you all think you can do home projects and renovations and you give up halfway through and you call me or this girl. So this is where I get a little scared. Why is she showing us how to install piping? You can't put DIY and then put plumbing fixtures going in like any homeowner can use this. This requires like real power tools with fire that melt metal and your hot and cold water in your bathroom. DIY is misleading. We really had no idea what we were doing. Case in point, we really had no idea what we were doing. After you pick the fixtures, call a professional plumber who knows how to do copper piping. Trust me, you will save money in the long run. You know, and I was really excited about this bathroom remodel and she said she was a trained professional. And now that I'm seeing it, I feel like there was a lot of design output, but not that much worth put into the space. If you're gonna retile, you're gonna regrout, you're gonna redo your plumbing, please don't throw up a shower curtain. Put some glass in there, allocate some budget for that. There is no reason to spend all the money to retile your entire bathroom if you're gonna throw up a frat boy caddy in the back of it. Frat boy caddy with colored loofahs. Can we at least get natural colored loofahs? You're a designer. Okay, nice. Nice effort, she's learning. She's definitely learning. The black grout with the white penny rounds and the black grout with the subway tile actually ended up closing this bathroom off more. Think about where you wanna spend your money. To glass in that space would not have been a budget killer. Sometimes, just because elements are trendy and they look good, if you slap them on every wall, you've just created the same busy dated mess that you're gonna have to address in a couple years. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Designer Reacts. Don't forget to follow me at Brigand Jane across all social media platforms. And if you're not subscribed, click the link so you can check out all our weekly videos so that you don't end up the victim to someone else's design leftovers.